Me. That first time I didn't pull your hand away. I give you that, I let you, you know, turn me on. The second time? What? The second time what? Danny, I woke to find you at it again. But you didn't object. I was asleep. Only to begin with. That's okay, is it? After you didn't object. After what I'm objecting now. Amy, that was six months ago. So? There's no statute of limitations if it's sex. So what are you saying? I tell Debs to drop the whole thing or you'll go to the guards. Is that it? Oh, no, Jesus. What I am saying is that things happen between people. I just don't get it. You always talk about how much you hate your father. But the minute he clicks his fingers, you go running. And does he even know? It wasn't the right time. Trust me. Okay, but you're gonna have to tell your family at some point. I just don't get what you're afraid of. Get the milk from the back of the fridge. And make sure the tomatoes still have the green spiders. Love me. Like, do you really love me? I feel the same way I've always felt about you. We would have been alright, you know. If there hadn't been any mess. But you can't handle mess. You need everything to be neat and easy. I don't know. Maybe nobody can love me anymore. What plan? No, I'm sick of your stupid plans. You think you're some sort of criminal mastermind, Sammy, but you're not. You're a moron. And your stupid little heist got us locked up in jail. I know. It was a stupid heist. I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> you remember when I threw my shoe at the Roomba? <laughs> I'm sorry I called you a moron. That's okay. You just need to think things through a little bit more. You know, forward planning. 